operates every control, all seven functions, and each function is completely variable. Hello guys, welcome to DIY Model. Today I'm going to be looking at this. We're going to be making our own micro USB or USB basically uh, speaker. Now I'm using an amplifier which is very small and tiny. Okay, this is a circuit board where you can see our right output, our left output, 5 volt and our left right and ground input now what this circuit board does is this chip is our main source which this is an amplifier now this one has three watt output per channel and we have only two channel and it is very good compact very small as you can see it's very tiny on my finger too now for this to work you will need some stuff now for this to work you will need two speaker which I have got or you can use one it is up to you you can play in mono once you have got that you can you you need a USB cable now I'm going to be cutting this because this is very short and it was for a hard drive and these are very old fashioned ones and uh, I don't have the hard drive and the last thing you're going to be needing is in wires is your audio input and a soldering iron so a soldering iron then you're going to use some flux and the last ingredient your solder once you have all those stuff you're good to go now what i'm going to do is what all these up wire all, all these up with to the main chip and basically once it's uh, connected everything uh, we're going to be testing it out how it goes uh, I will have very close up pictures uh, in the link description so you guys can check it out uh, the wiring and everything uh, I have done a good job on there two hours later okay guys we have finished all our wiring and everything what we can do is put it in a case, it's up to you what kind of case you want to use and so on. These speakers are not normal speakers, these has, you know, you will find some with uh, of like all paper one. This one is not, this one is center paper, then rubber and so on, you know, these are the good quality one. I had these one removed from another uh, kind of portable speaker, which wasn't working properly. And basically what I did was use it like this, and so it makes it make life easier for myself just take it out from there take the part and use for something else now i have a seven port uh, charger uh, for phone it's a uh, b o l s e uh, which has like a it's a smart charger it can charge any phone and so on now let's plug into that I'll plug into the last one We have, if you guys can hear the hissing, it's the speaker. You can see the ch channel is working perfectly. Now let's, okay, you can see the hissing stopped as reason why is because uh, we have connected the device to it. Uh, cannot play music from my iPod, my own music, uh, because it's a copyright law and I'm going to get in trouble. No copyright sound, that's what it's called, the channel. And it's pretty nice if you're looking for music and so on like that, you know, you can use from him. Uh, I like uh, his... Now that's playing in normal, that's when it's not going in the red zone, not the yellow on iPod. Uh, 
Now, when I put it in too loud, it changes the noise. You can guys see the speakers moving, but if they're in closure, the volume it increases too. It's not because there's a, they are exposed, and once the speaker are vibrating, that's, that's a gesture of it's it's louder than the noise because once you put in the same thing like subwoofer, that's how they work. Subwoofer when you have them in a box, they they make loads of you know that, uh, and there's a hole in the box. Basically, that represents that uh, base you know so that's why now if you look again let's see again oh come on that was a bit out of control now the it is very good it is uh, uh it sounds pretty nice it's, uh, As you can hear, it sounds pretty nice. These ones, once, once you have them in the enclosure, it sounds even better. Uh, mixed, I have a, don't have an enclosure for the moment, but I'm gonna be soon getting you know, put them in my own. And I have a portable one. Let's remove this from there. And I plug into here. As you can guys can hear. So you guys can hear it, it's working perfectly. All the wire, everything is right here. This is our main chip that is controlling the whole thing. Our two speakers. These are not normal speakers, they're pretty good quality, high quality speaker. And this is our audio input coming to this chip. And this music that they're playing from is no copyright sound. Please go check them out. Uh, this guy out, you know, he is, he is the very good music. And go, guys, check this guy out. You know, see, uh, give him some support. Tell him who sent you. Uh, and in the process, I burned my controller. Because I didn't know where the soldering iron where it, uh, where it was going. But doesn't matter. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, show me the support. What do you guys think about this video? Uh, this one is going to be cuts and stuff like that in there too. So thanks for guys. Thanks for watching and uh, please like, subscribe and uh, share and peace.